get in the game. This next chapter um, in my life up until this point in my career hopefully is, is um, you know, the biggest chapter of them all. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk about Paul George. He hasn't played really highly competitive basketball since, you know, the spring. When you sit out this long away from the game of basketball, it takes time. I've never not played since April and then, and then had two practices and played an NBA game. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna go. Paul George for the first time in a Clippers jersey at Staples. I've been in this position before being out grown so much as a player and as a person. At this point in my career, it's only one thing I'm after. If you're a Clipper fan, this is what you've been waiting for. PG's in a Clipper jersey and he's hooping it up. Hearing Paul George from Palmdale, California for the first time in Staples, I think at that moment is where it'll settle, where um, it hits that I'm home and I'm representing for my city. Hey, dog. Yo. Pito. PG. Yo. Pito. Good work, yo. Same thing tomorrow, y'all. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Give me all day now. The team kept me uh, quite involved since I've been out. Whether it's practice, whether it's Doc um, asking for you know what I like in offense, how is our defense looking? You know, you can see he's very eager. You know, it's good. Like you can see, he's worked all this time. He wants to play. You know, and so he's eager. He's close, and you know, I think all of us are looking forward to it. He was always real active. You know, talking to us. Um, you know, games, practice, even throughout three one on one, like you know, things we should work on, things, you know, that, that he thinks that are positive for us that we should keep growing. Um, I mean, you, you can't really ask for more than that. You know, I'm still engaged. I'm still a part of what's going on, whether I'm playing uh, contact going up and down with these guys um, or not. Every day, every workout, the closer he got to the turn, I saw a better version of him, which was pretty cool. When he was rehabbing, he was playing three on three, and he was going against a bunch of the rookies, and they were pushing him the whole time. It's just been teaching, helping them understand the game, and, and try to give, you know, tricks and um, things I've picked up along my career, and things that people have handed down to me. Him being there, just being an open voice, a guy that we know, that's an established player in this league, it was pretty cool as a rookie. While he was hurt, he worked his tail off. He had both shoulders like hanging by a thread for the last few months of last wow. season. As an athlete that's come back from a major injury, it takes you two, three, sometimes four years to get back to feeling like yourself. He's been in the league for 10 years and he has experience with this. He That leg injury yes. suffered with Team USA. USA. Yeah. He had to come back from that. And so I fully expect that. I don't know if it takes two games for it, whatever it takes. He's going to be back, and he's going to be a gigantic part of what the Clippers do, incorporate himself. Uh-oh, back up. He did it with the left hand! The Clippers win round one. Shemek with the gift of grab. Here comes Zubats down the boulevard! Backed away by Beverly with the steal. Another three ball. Patrick Patterson cannot miss. This is one for three. Look out below! Up with two hands! And we still got work to do. We still got an all-star player that has haven't played. It's needed for us, for him to know that, that we need him, and, and it's needed for him as well to know that it goes both ways. Paul George is close to making his Clippers debut. Getting Paul George back, the dynamic shooter that he was last year in Oklahoma City, that is very exciting. I've been doing this since May, so I'm tired of rehabbing.
Welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to Fresno State as we celebrate the coming home of Paul George. Today is a day where we're bestowing our highest honor in the area of basketball. Paul George for us is a quintessential bulldog and this place will be his forever. Wouldn't have dreamed this in a million years um, to be able to come into Save Mart Center and uh, to be able to look up and see uh, 24 hanging in the rafters. Um, so this is special. This is special to have my family here to be able to witness this. All right, yo, we out here, Fresno State. Surprise in PG, Jersey retirement. Start a little group chat on the side. Round up a bunch of guys, came out here, show love and support. You already know the boy going to cry. It's an emotional night for him. And once he sees us, the boy about to ball his eyes out. That moment that I uh, saw the guys walk in on me, it was remarkable, man, honestly. I remember seeing Pat, you know, which was, he was the first guy to uh, walk in. And I looked at him, but, you know, I didn't necessarily, you know, it didn't hit me yet. I didn't think that was Pat really at the game. I think it told him a lot about the culture of the group. That was a big deal for Paul, and, you know, they wanted to be there for him. For them to do that meant a lot, honestly. Um, you know, because this is, you know, this is the, the guys in the group that I call my brothers. The highly anticipated, long-awaited debut of Paul George in a Clippers uniform. Back in office. Thirteen is back in office. Well, we do have to be a little bit realistic here. We have to manage our expectations for Paul George. He's played in one scrimmage since April. Welcome back. Here it is. Welcome back. We're just going to throw him out there, you know, and see what he can get us. At forward, number 13, Paul George. PG, welcome back, baby. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. I get butterflies. I get nervous. None of that's going to change. I'm, I'm coming back to the game that I love and been playing since a kid. Williams to George, off glass, and welcome to the family, Paul George. Paul George, right wing three on the way. He got it, 10 first quarter points. You take a lot of positivity home with Paul George being out there, not just being out there. He was the regular old Paul George that was the MVP candidate last year. Here is George, knifing his way to the rim and leaves it in. Paul George is unconscious in his first game as a Clipper. 23 points for PG-13. He ran plays like he'd been running it uh, for months. So you got to give him credit. He must have watched a, a heck of a lot of film and all that to be that prepared. He showed everything. I mean, his offensive package was on display everywhere on the floor. Up ahead of the pack, Paul George, streaking out ahead of the lane. He lays it in with the right hand. Two possession lead for the Pelicans. George tries to cut it down to one and does. That guy returning right there was brilliant. 33 points for Paul George in 24 minutes. It is a really encouraging start to what should be a really explosive Clippers tenure. He actually blew my mind with how smooth he was and how effective he was offensively. What will he do for an encore? Because he was sensational in New Orleans. Back in the Back into two and three. Be able to do this at home in front of family, friends. Uh, just so many faces out there that's rooting and pulling for me. Dream come true. Clipper fans will be very entertained when Paul George takes the floor. Back to George on a hand up. He goes down the right alley and lays it up. His first two points of the game. George creates space and then knocks down the three. And the Clippers lead by a dozen. This performance has been great so far. 15 points in just six minutes. The rhythm that he's in right now after missing all of these games, this is really impressive. It's 4-3 of the half. This dude is just sleepless to do. His efficiency is incredible. 22 points for PG-13. Right now, he's rated R. He's just clicking on all cylinders. Just the patience and the confidence for a guy that's been out.
This is a guy who had surgeries on both of his shoulders. He told me that last season during the playoffs, he could barely lift his arms up. You had 37 points in, in 20 minutes tonight. First time in NBA history that's ever happened. Now, you know, 70 points in 44 minutes. Have you ever seen anyone put together like this type of run in this little amount of time? No. On the three-point line was taken, and George blocks the three-point attempt. Make us proud. Bounces out the Way to reward the big fella, PG. Staple Center is buzzing. He has six threes tonight. This is a video game numbers. I just didn't think it would come this fast. This night all was about Paul George makes his debut in downtown Los Angeles and did not disappoint. I think you have to realize that it was pretty historic. No one had had that kind of output in that few minutes. Paul George, welcome home. I couldn't wait to get in front of this crowd. I couldn't wait to be home, play at home. You know, this is... I can get used to this. There was just a lot of familiar faces in the, in the crowd. And uh, I mean, honestly, that's probably the biggest thing that, you know, I'm most happy about is, is I get to do that on a nightly basis. I'm looking forward to what this year will hold and, and these years going forward. Oh, great. Oh, great. Many more good nights to come. Paul George makes it look easy offensively. The time has come. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George on the floor together for the first time tonight. Paul George, corner three. Yes, sir! George, to the cup. Oh, my! Look out below! I think each game, as you see him play, it's starting to build. He's starting to get more and more comfortable with where he fits in, where he's going to get his shots. I don't know what's more impressive, going 10 of 16, scoring 27 points or doing it in 16 first half minutes. It's just going to keep growing. We're going to keep growing as a team. Paul George continues to smolder, and I don't know what else you can say about him. It's been great. Um, it's a nice show. Tonight was the best I felt since I've been back. I'm turning the corner.